Hey everybody, Drew, this is Drew Bell here. Welcome back to uh, Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. So in the last episode, we did a few things around town. In, the next episode, uh, in this episode, we're going to do some more. Um, but first, we're going to go back in here. Um, I noticed in my I editing... I can't believe somebody would steal it. <laughs> well, that's just... I'd go for help, look but for I'm it. afraid to walk be around, around like this. Yeah, when I was edit do my editing, I noticed that I saw this, I'm and this was mentioned. I'm forever. It's a pile of blank paper. So let's take that. I'm gonna starve to death in here. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> um, so. I'm gonna die hungry, blind, and alone. Get out. Um. So yeah, I saw that in editing, and then it was on a comment. I'm like, well, geez, I was really gonna need that. The next thing I was going to do, um, and another comment said that it's not gonna do anything, but I want to see why it's not gonna do anything is to put the bucket. See, it said that, um, Gabriel, Gabriel said that he couldn't pick up this slime, but I want to see why I can't just use the bucket, even though I'm told that I can't do it, I want to know why. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Oh. Well. Hold on, can I just... With you? I don't need that for anything. Yeah, I thought he'd put some spit in there. But, um, I didn't say this in the last episode, and I really should have. Uh, really, thank you so much for um, all the suggestions that you gave me on the final video of Gabriel Knight. Uh, really gave me a lot of uh, ground on, and I'm going to start moving back. I'm sure that there's an island to discover. Um, I need to... Oh, actually, I should look at the thing I just picked up. What is this? Look at paper? It's blank. Oh, all right. I thought it was going to be his research notes for, um... For his little trip. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that, you know, you gave me a lot of advice, and I really learned a lot about it. You know, originally, you know, if, you, if I haven't done that... Guy brush! Okay, wood tuck, wood tick. That must be where I just came from. Well, let's circle around. You know, if you guys hadn't said that stuff, and I know I didn't comment, I just wanted to, you know, make sure to listen to everything, what you guys said. Nice What do we got here? Nice. Nice. Now, let's see. Usually you would use this to attach to something, but... Hold on. Um, use... Use paper with... Yeah. That doesn't seem to work. Alright. Uh, so otherwise, you know, I probably would have... Oh, I didn't make many replies. Nice little lighthouse here. Or shack. I didn't uh, give replies on that because I wanted to let you guys. What's this say? Steam and weenies, twenty feet. Steam and weenies? Is that what this is? What this is? Oh, these are the pirates that I met in the beginning. Okay. Uh, let's talk to them. He's back. Uh, tell me about tell Largo. Me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. An embargo? Is that Largo's embargo? Yeah, just get rid of so this guy. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. Yeah, let's I let's say that. they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh, no. <laughs> Not this story again. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Yeah. This is sort of, um, following into what I believe is going to happen. Uh, let me just see what Any he says. Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named 
Captain Dread. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Yeah, what the hell, let's have a piratey song. You guys song. know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink, sing that one about Scab Island. Ooh, I oh, I want to hear this song. Right. I well, really do. I'd rather be a pirate on Scab than a Scab on a pirate. And if you'll listen to, to me, me Gab, I'll, I'll tell, tell you why I admire it. it. Oh, the people well, aren't too friendly. friendly. The weather's not the, the best. best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab <laughs> is what it hasn't got. No mayor, mayor or, or police force, no jail, jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. All right, I shouldn't sing along if I don't know his little rhythm. Uh, I'll do that some other time. I'd like to make some progress first. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Um. You know, so it really gave me an anchor of what I should be playing. You know, I was originally going to go and do a game of Civ Five, but, um, you know, I have to know my audience, and my audience definitely said nice. that's not the kind of game that they want, so I will not. Uh, hmm. Let's see. This door appears to be locked. But, you know, all of your suggestions were great, and, um... You know, I, I did see on Steam, and by the way, if you, uh, you can, you know, you can friendly on Steam if you do have it, uh, it should just be Drew Bell, you know, my, uh, my name on, uh, on YouTube, and if it's not, uh, let me know, because it may be something else. Uh, but I saw on Steam that there's a nice little, well, I don't know how nice it is, I never played them, but there's a package for, uh, the dig. There is Loom and uh, some of the Indiana Jones adventure games. Never played any of them, but I knew they existed. International House of Mojo. And uh, I sometimes feel a little. Wait, what's this coffin? Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. I can't pick that up. All right, let's. Uh, ready to sail? Let's go. <laughs> Um, you know, the thing, I, the thing about Loom was just, I don't need to be advertised in the first ten minutes of the game, you know, I just want to play the game, and I, th I think my little, my little diatribe in my first episode of, uh, well this looks interesting, this music's changed too. Oh, I was about to say, hmm, I'm stuck. Uh, ooh. We got a skull. Display model. Um, pick that up. It appears to be bolted to the table. Pick that up. I'll just take a little. Yeah, I got some string. A string, a stick, parchment. I have a feeling we're going to be constructing something in the in the future. First, I'll try this. I think this. I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. doesn't seem to work. Okay, so... I think I'm too clumsy to hold the stick and tie a knot at the same time. So there's definitely a third item, at least, coming up. So we're going to be constructing something. I can definitely tell that. Um, let's... Look at jar. Spider lungs. Ooh. Bat wax. Skink toes. Wart remover. Okay, can I take any of these? No, thanks. Wait. I don't need it. I think something jumped out. Yeah, spider lungs. Can I pick, pick that up? No, thanks. I don't need it. Maybe I have to look at all Tender these. Tender touch pirate powder. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Because maybe these don't trigger until I Golden look at them. Golden tongue. The five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Golden tongue. The five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Oh, de mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Uh, okay. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Is there any more? What about this? They're unlabeled. 
fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. My plan here is to acknowledge all these and then try to pick them up. Uh, okay, this one. Cat dewormer. Okay, now let's see if we can pick them up. No thanks. I don't need it. No thanks. I don't need it. No thanks. I don't need it. No thanks. See, this is I the one thing it. about Monkey Island. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. Not and anyway, qualified. they're gross. Uh, I'm sure. No thanks. I don't need it. There's a lot of stuff that I don't know. No thanks. If I don't need it. Actually, I don't have a cat. Useful. Hey, that's just a display model. Wait, what? Hey, it's Madamushka. Guybrush Threepwood. It's been a long time <laughs> since you last came to see me. Oh boy. And I knew I I know the rules from um, you know, like I said in Gabriel Knight, she has to have a magic uh, ball or crystal ball. But since she did in the in the first game, I'll let that aside. So, hey, it's Madamushka again. So anyway, um, tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. See what? Uh, about that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions brings the dead back to life. Ooh, that should be nice. I'll take it. Or... Wait, it has to be piratey. It has to be given to me. Eh, alright, I'll, I'll take, take it. it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Sure is. Especially voodoo murders. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. I am. Wait, uh, what ingredients? What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Yes. Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. Yeah, almost. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Okay, good. I was about to say. Thanks. I'm not going to remember this. Go. Though I could have just written it down. Let's take a look at this. He said, uh, or she said that it would be thread from his body. Because I was about to say, oh, I already have one. Uh, let's look at this. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139, Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Thread, head, I'm writing these down, body, and I think the other one was dead, yeah, re a dead relative or something. Okay. So what was that? Ash to life, probably? Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Yes, ma'am. Oh, fine. What is this? Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I remembered. Why didn't you, Guybrush? All right, um, how's business? How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Ooh, fortune read. I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. 
Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. So yeah, if you're gonna put... And I'm suddenly talking about Loom again. Um, if you're gonna put an advertisement in the game, can I... Oh, right, I already have the thread. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Does that mean I should do something with it? Hold on. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll come back, I'm sure. Uh, don't put an advertisement ten minutes into the game. I want to see the actual game. Uh, that said, um, like I said, I could have done Thousand Year Door Paper Mario 2, which um, I actually thought it was that game, the third game, that um, was mostly just a platformer that was pretending to be an RPG, and I'm like, ugh. But no, it's actually a legit... Legit. Oh, this must be where the, uh... These relatives must be, somehow. So anyway, I'm, I'm in, excited to play it and somehow, but the thing is that... I can't pick that up. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Green tongue fever? Um... Uh, but the thing is, that game is running okay on my emula on the emulator that I'm using, but... The rickets. No trespassing. I can't pick that up. Uh, but it's running at 70% speed, which means that it's running at the speed of like two-thirds what it should be. Stan's Cozy Crypt. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Wait, what about Stan? Stan's Cozy Crypt. A place to spend eternity. Not a fortune. Oh, so Stan's in the tomb business now, too. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Alright. Does one of them have Largo? Stan's cozy Wait, no, crypt. that's not what I wanted to do. A place to spend eternity. This. Not a fortune. The Grouts. No trespassing. Shoot, what was Largo's last name? I don't remember. Uh, but... That game is running too slowly for it to be something I would want to show off to you guys. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or Here sand. Here we go. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> oh, that's great. Marco Largo Legrand. Hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. That's an awesome rhyme. <laughs> Uh, the rest... Is this the rest of his there family? There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed. She got buried. Oh, good lord. This isn't King's Quest Seven. No man commanded jean Louise, Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <laughs> Were the rhymes on King's Quest Four? Were they limericks? I don't remember. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. Oh, that's sad for him. I need a shovel. I can't dig with this. Maybe. That doesn't seem to work. But, uh, this is where I'm going to get that dead thing. So is that. But, um, no, I'm not gonna present a game with only half the speed. I mean, I'd play it by myself, sure, but I'm not gonna bring it to YouTube. But, most importantly, Cognition. Cognition is coming up. Uh, let's see. The last official interview has said that, um, expect the first... Uh, the first episode of that 
late May, early July. So I mean, you know, as soon as uh, that comes around, that's definitely going to be, um, you know, I'm going to be dropping everything to play Cognition. So anyway, that's that was a very long response of. My, of your responses. So what have we got here? A houseboat? Whoa. Oh, I thought he was dead, but instead he's dread. Big mistake. Okay, well, what do we got here? Cabin door? Hold on. Oh, that's the way out. Jeez, why did I think that a cabin door would not be a cabin door? Okay, well... Let's look at you. Are you Captain Dredd? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dredd. What can I do for you? I need a ship. Or dreads. No, wait, no... No screwing around. The new Guybrush, Guybrush 2. I point. need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I a called it quest? my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Oh, Lord, I need to do a fetch quest. Um... Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. Oh. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Well, there's a good island where you can go find some cannibals that can f give you a better one. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Uh... Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Okay. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Largo has an embargo on the island. Um, hold on. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. It's my okay. monocle. Bye, man. Come again. Oh, no. Hold on, actually. Is my monocle something... Uh... Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. Well, hey! What can I do for ya? I didn't think that was actually... what I needed to do. I thought it would be a little too easy. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. Largo has an embargo on the island. Okay. So it's a two-step process. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. All right. <laughs> so it wasn't as easy as just giving him the monocle. I have to actually lift this embargo. So that seems to be the big crux of all the problems. I can't do anything until I get rid of that guy's old mess. Um, well, shoot, I haven't been everywhere already, have I? What have I... hold on. What have I earned since then? I have a thread and a stick. It's blank. So now I actually have to adventure. Because it seems that I've been everywhere now. Eh, uh, okay. So I guess I'll go back into town and see if anything's changed, or someone would want something. Cemetery. I know that's definitely where I'm gonna get that dead relative. And what is it? Thread, head, body, dead. A head. Dread was talking about a, um, you know, navigator's head, but I think that's just a callback. I don't think it's gonna be part of the puzzle. But it could be. Um. 
maybe you can fashion something out of this. So hold on. Nice. Nice. Uh. No, thanks. Uh. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. I mean, I'm not... I'm not in throw items at people mode yet, I don't think, but... Getting close. What do I need to do with you? This guy just keeps getting shaken down by Largo, but actually, am I missing stuff where I can actually find where Largo is? Like, maybe I haven't been everywhere in town yet, because I should be able to find Largo somewhere, maybe? I mean, maybe not, but... Uh, sure. Actually, yeah, I kind of ignored you. Let's see what you got. He looks nice enough. Well. I got a laundry type question. Shoo. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. I'm sorry. Jeez, get some... Get some hearing aids. Um, I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? Yes. I don't know. Um. <laughs> no. As much as I want to say this answer, no. Guybrush is a man now. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. <laughs> I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. I'm gonna give him my thread. What would I do with that? I don't know. This paper intrigues me, actually. I mean, it was so important that I got a comment, but it's just a blank piece of paper. Um. Nice! It won't fit in my pocket. It won't fit in my pocket. Uh, let's talk to you. What is it this time, fly brunch? It's guy brush, and don't you forget it. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Oh, hey. I actually got money. It's probably two pieces of eight like it was in the last game. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. So hold on, how much money did I get? Oh, only one piece of eight. Oh, they're a little stingier in this one. So yeah, I'll go to the woodsman. No problem there. What was this place again? Alright, this was the, like, little tavern, or the tavern in I don't know. I couldn't do anything there last time though. No, thanks. Wait, what? No, I'm supposed to hold on, maybe I'm supposed to talk to you. Yeah. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Wait, do I want to look about around a bit? Maybe later. I mean, I know this this place, this island is just much more larger than the other one. 
you know, I, I'm not trying to skip places and, you know, because I just don't want to spend a, an entire video just being in two places. So I'm ignoring some talking, but, uh, all right. Use polish. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Oh. Okay. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Um. Use. Polish. On. Peg light. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh. What? What was the point? Oh, I still get wood polish. I was about to say. I just did a worthless exchange, but I still have wood polish. So hopefully I'll be using that. What is it this time, Fry Goosh? I wonder how many of those they have. Um I'm gonna regret this. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... You're lazy? We're afraid to come down. Oh. Uh, what? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. Uh-huh. Fear of strange vegetables? Say what you will, we're not coming down. All right, all right, see ya. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Well, all right. So that was an interesting episode. I got to see all the aisle and, um, yeah, so thumbs down, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and I hope that I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.